this is the solution to written homework 22. Okay, so first question, is x equal to 3 a solution? So let's check x, x equal to 3. Well, let's plug it in. So as for the first term, that would be 3 cubed plus 7 times 3 squared minus 17 times 3 minus 10 is 3 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 equal uh, plus 8. So that would be 27 plus 7 times 9 is 63 minus 17 times 3 is uh, what? 30 and 21 is 51 minus 10 is equal to, well, 3 times 3 squared is 27 minus uh, 6 plus 8. So we can use a calculator for this. Twenty-seven times sixty-three minus fifty-one minus ten. The left-hand side, no, twenty-seven minus sixty-three plus sixty-three minus fifty-one minus ten is twenty-nine, and the right-hand side is also twenty-nine. So that equation is true, and therefore for part i, the answer is yes. x equal to 3 is a solution. For part i, i, we can ask about x equal to 1, which is far easier the arithmetic anyway, 1 plus 7 minus 17 minus 10 equal to 3 minus 2 plus 8. So 1 plus 7 minus 17 minus 10 is negative 19. And then 3 minus 2 plus 8 is 9. So in part i this equation was true, logically true, whereas in part ii this equation is logically false. So the answer is no. x equal to 1 is not a solution. So for part i, we can check how about x, y equal to 4, 5. Well, 3 times 4 minus 4 times 3 plus 8 equal to 0. Well, that's 12 minus 12, so we're left with 8 equal to 0. This is logically false. And therefore, our conclusion is that uh, 4, 5 is not in the graph. For part ii, three times eight 
minus 4 times 6. Three times eight minus four times six plus eight equals zero. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay. This is a four times five. Okay. So rather, this is twelve minus twenty. And then <laughs> plus eight. <clears throat> so this is zero equal to zero. So this one <laughs> is true. So that means that four five is a graph. So I knew I must have made, a, made an error because down here I could see that this arithmetic was also going to be, give yield a false equation. So this is 8 equal to 0, 24 minus 24. So that's false.